but I, I don't really venture out of my room that much except to buy excessively sugary treats. Um, so you can imagine my excitement when the other day in the supermarket I came across possibly the best purchase of my entire life. I spied him from across the aisle and his giant yellow smile beckoned me coquettishly. A reduced Mr. Men cake in the shape of Mr. Happy. <laughs> All that sugared icing and sponge up for only two seventy nine. It was it was like a message from a god I don't believe in, therefore even more powerful. <laughs> I felt the prickle of excitement. Would this be the best purchase I'd ever made or the most disgusting and depressing night of my life? Would I get such a sugar high that I'd go insane and think every day was my birthday? Was it worth the risk? <laughs> of course it was. I'd pay almost any price for Mr. Happy, except of course the Six ninety nine. those rip-off merchants were RRPing him at, but at two seventy nine, this bitch was mine. <laughs> now, you may think that I would find Mr. Happy's constant, almost fixed grin to be annoying, that I would find this sugary embodiment of happiness repugnant and nauseating, but, but Mr. Happy was kind to me. He seemed to, to look through me and accept me completely in a way that no one ever had before. Sure, there had been other cakes in the past, but not like Mr. Happy. <laughs> This was something special and, and definitive. We walked home under a beautifully clear, crisp sky. The pimples on every inch of my skin were from both cold and anticipation, and a little bit of eczema as well. I, I held him close and looked deep into his eyes, which were admittedly just black dots, but seemed to say so much. And he told me about being left on the shelf and the eventual indignity of being reduced and, and we talked and shared and the connection was complete. We broke into a room for the last few hundred yards, <laughs> eager to be alone in the sanctuary of my room, away from prying, judging eyes. We already understood that society would not look favourably on our affair. We were different, yes. Me, a, a, a lonely young boy with fancies of self-immolation. Him, a cake. <laughs> But who was to stand in the way of true love? Now, I just want to kind of interject at this point. I have had some strange reactions to this story, mainly from concerned family members, it's true. But I just want to say that there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing weird about this, all right? Okay, it's not, it's not, I mean, if anything, it's charming. <laughs>